Rather than take the time to build the base app from scratch, instead we'll start from the existing application by forking and cloning from a repository that I've already created. The source code for the base application is hosted at GitHub, so let's take a look at it. I'm going to cheat here, this is my local copy, and I'm going to use a command that I wrote myself called git open. This is not a standard command, I'll show you in a minute how to get that if you want it. So here's the URL, github.com slash mhartle slash action cable chat app. So what you want to do is uh, log in, kind of surprised I'm not signed in here, let's sign in. And then what you want to do is fork it like this. Go to this button and fork it, and then you'll have your own copy, and that way you can push up your own changes. If you were just to clone this app, then you wouldn't be able to push changes because permissions are restricted on this repository. I don't want to just let anyone push up changes. But by making a fork and then cloning, you have your own copy so that you can push up changes of your own. I promise to show you how to do this here. This is a gem that I wrote called git utils. So if you want to go to gem install git utils, that'll get you the git open command. Once you've cloned the repository to your local system or to your cloud IDE, then you can install it by bundling and migrating the database. Bundle install, or just bundle for short. Migrate the database. In this case, I've already migrated it. And then you can do this, Rails DB seed. So this loads some seed data to get us started. In particular, there are two users, Alice and Bob. Ah, and so this happens, which might happen if uh, you run it twice. You can actually migrate the database down. So RailsDB migrate reset. And then migrate back up. So you can do this. Let's go to RailsDB migrate and just RailsDB seed. Well, it still didn't work. What happened there? Oh, I see what's going on here. So I'm actually running uh, OS 10 Sierra right now, and as of this moment, there's a problem with SQLite, which is the default database used by Rails. So I'm actually running using PostgreSQL. As you can see here, it says uh, PG, that's Postgres. And so it looks like you can't actually migrate down. You can't reset when something else is using the database. And so what's going on here is I'm running a server over here. So SQLite lets you do that, but Postgres does not. So let's try that. See if this works. This error message appeared before, I just didn't notice it because I expected it to work. There we go, so that worked. And now this should work. Okay. So it looks like that worked, and now we can restart the server. I have Rails alias to R, and S is short for server, so RS, and there we go. What I just did, there's a good example of what we call, at Learn Enough to be Dangerous, technical sophistication. So I ran into a problem, I guessed the solution in this case, I could have Googled around if I hadn't been able to guess the solution. But being able to figure stuff out like that is a really important skill when developing web applications or dealing with technical things of any kind. As a final step, I'd like to note that there is a test suite that comes with this app, so we should run that just to make sure things are working. Rails test. All right, so it passes, and if it doesn't pass on your system, then you should apply your technical sophistication to figure out how to fix it.